realizes something's amiss. Oh my god! Let's go! What a horrible spot to propose. Woohoo! Alright, now let's throw an innocent man in jail, huh? Man claims pipe smashed windshield to cover up wife's murder. I don't know if I can watch this one. Height Zone channel has all the Kakacha Predator? I haven't even heard of that channel. Pregnant woman attacked boyfriend for eating her Oreos. I mean, that's justifiable, right? Was she found not guilty? All right, Missy, Jennifer can jam it. Now to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Where Judge John Hurley Florida, let's go. Bond hearings with inmates in Broward County. Let's go. Jenny, you're charged with an aggravated battery. Finds probable cause. Do we have any priors on Miss Can Jemmy? Oh, yeah. Judge Hurley's then informed that the defendant is 17 weeks pregnant, a crucial fact for understanding the crime. Okay, so, um, unusual set of circumstances, 4 o'clock in the morning, and the defendant allegedly through a cell phone hit the victim, Mr. Edwards, in the head. The defendant is 17 weeks pregnant, and she stated that she was craving Oreo cookies and became upset when she discovered that Mr. <laughs> Edwards had eaten her Oreo cookies. Makes sense to me. It sounds like an advertisement for Oreos. So good you'll commit domestic assault. Notice as Judge Hurley reads from the case file. And she stated that she was craving Oreo cookies. The defendant can't help but laugh at the absurdity of the situation. It is pretty absurd. She became upset when she discovered that Mr. Edwards had eaten her Oreo cookies. But what's not so funny is the injury brought on by her cookie craving. He received allegedly three staples in the head as a result Whoa. of munching on her cookies. I think the harm was greater than the intent. Wait, what the fuck? That's public defender Dale. How hard did she throw that? He can relate to the situation. Does she play softball or something? Where's that fucking power coming from? Oreo cookie cravings can be awfully strong. I would ask the judge to be as lenient as possible on the bond in this case. Before setting a bond amount, Judge Hurley talks through the curious details of the case one last time. There's a vex in the prime crabby. She's in jail. She's got no criminal record, um, and I'm somebody ate, somebody ate her yeah. Oreo cookies. So I, I'm familiar with the facts. Yeah, that does seem like a uh, mitigating factor here that we can't overlook. Oh. Ma'am, let me ask you, who's gonna bond you out of jail? Nobody. Um, Kellogg's. Whoever manufactures Oreos. Okay, I'm gonna do this, ma'am. I'm gonna release you on your own recognizance. All right. I'm gonna allow you to uh, have telephone contact with him. All right. You have to stay 500 feet from him at all times. Do you understand that, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. All right, ma'am. Good luck, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Right. And before she oh, leaves, no. Hurley shares one final thought. Ma'am, yeah. uh, can I give you some advice? Hide yeah. your Oreo cookies next time. <laughs> <laughs> this was sweet. The charges against Jennifer Kanjemi would later be dropped. Yeah, I think that's just very unlucky. It sounds like she didn't mean to give the man three staples in his head. This seems like some of those pregnancy hormones. Uh, apparently being pregnant turns you into a fucking demon. Said I missed one? Oh, infamous Judge Scary Mary tells woman to get her life together. Oh, well, nice. I hope you enjoy the new house, John. What would ever possess you to take someone to a crack house? Probably to get crack. What do you mean? Why else would you go? It's not like a field trip. 
The 45-year-old previously pleaded guilty to possession of a controlled substance after police found cocaine in her car. Morgan claims the drugs weren't hers, and instead that they belonged to a friend who <clears throat> she'd just driven to a drug house. I don't do drugs. I haven't done drugs since I was a teenager. Well, then why are you here? Because I took a friend to ask you to take her, and I did. You don't have good friends. Well, Judge Mary you can do crack and still be a good friend. Mary by the defendants who face her. As you can see, she is not one to mince words. Thanks what would ever Swift? possess you to take someone to a crack house? Do you know how dangerous that is? Thanks, Ian. Twenty-five years old, no prior contact with the criminal justice system. Her mother is present uh, with her this morning and has been at prior proceedings. Can you explain something to me? You're forty-five years old. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yep. So that makes you a year older than me. Mm hmm I would never bring my mother to court with me at that age. Why would you put your mom through that? What? Through what? Because she probably she wanted to be here. Jail, so she's wanted to be here. Okay. With me. Do you realize that there's going to come a point in your life when your mom's not going to be around and you're going to have to stand on your own two feet? What do you mean? Her mom's not doing anything. Her mom's just standing there. How'd that happen? My mom wanted me to sit there. Well, good mom. I like moms like that. After giving the defendant's mother some credit, Judge Chernowski then gives her Thanks a some creamy. advice. If she's going to continue with the drugs, you got to kick her out. You've got to put your foot down or else it's going to continue and it's only going to get worse. You understand that, mom? Yes. Somebody cares about you. That friend that you drove to the crack house? Turn around. Do you see her in here? No, no because there is no friend. She doesn't care about you. Well, it was, the woman in the back she drove herself the there, I think. So when are we going to start standing on our own two feet? Hey, thanks for the big tier two, Ian. And the gift sub frog. Today. <laughs> and today... Judge Chernowski allows Morgan to walk out. She was driving her mom there. Sentencing her to two years probation instead of jail. That's a good mom. As she's sweating. But Fuck. before the hearing ends, Morgan has a final question for the judge. Can I say one thing? Sure. I um, lived with a guy that was convicted of a felon. But he's turned his life around too. Is that going to be okay? Nope. That's not good. Rather Why would you say that? Ruling on the defendant's living arrangements herself, the judge knows exactly who to ask. Do you want to know who knows best? Moms know best. Mom, is this a good character for her to be living with? My answer for that is no. She's not living with him. You are going to find a new place to live. You are not to have any contact with anybody who is a convicted felon. Probably a good rule of thumb, I guess. And as the defendant leaves the courtroom, Judge Scary Mary gives one. Hey, last that's order. great, Oni. And now don't get mad at your mom. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Okay. Subscribe. Take that. That'll teach you to do crack. And just like that, she went right back to the crack house. Defendant punches a stranger to teach them a lesson. I mean, how else are you going to do it? Sometimes someone just gives you the stink eye and you got to give them a wallop. St. John. Next, we take you inside the Harris County Courthouse in Houston, Texas. It's January 2021. The defendant is David St. John, who's in court for aggravated sexual assault of a child and felony possession of a weapon. Ah. St. John took a teenage girl to a hotel, then he allegedly raped her. The 39-year-old already had six felony convictions to his name and was out on bond for three other charges. Jesus Christ. Occurred. One of his pending charges was possession of the gun that was later used during the alleged assault. Maybe Darman in a bit. You are charged with the aggravated sexual assault of a child older than 14 but younger than 17. As the charges are being read, St. John seems a bit shifty. Then, completely unattended, he walks to the front row. 
What? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, did you? That'll teach ya. St. John repeats the question, did you learn your lesson before cold cocking the man? The victim takes off as an officer rushes over and tackles St. John. Call someone, call someone, call someone. Oh my god. For one second, I didn't realize he had a mask on. So at this angle, I thought for sure he had the world's largest nose like that guy from Guilty Gear Strive. Like Gabriel. I was like, oh my fucking god, they got Pinocchio on the force. Now I see. They need to change the fucking camera quality. This shit is garbage. So frustrating. It's unclear why St. John attacked the man, but as he's escorted out, he makes a final comment. The victim of the attack seems to walk away unscathed. What? Are you okay, Mr. Randall? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And there were no additional charges brought Was this like an episode of Scared Straight? He remained in jail while awaiting his trial. Thanks for being a fan of Court Thanks Cam. For resub Subscribe to like A&E to never miss a new video. Man, Not sure yet, Denver. We'll see. Woman flees to... These are like serious cases with this court cam under oath. Woman flees to Brazil after killing her husband. Those are not goofy ones, that's for sure. I think the Karen movie looks incredible. I think it's definitely going to be a blockbuster. It looks good. I'm excited. You bet your sweet ass I'm watching that on opening day. Thanks to the resub Zetha and the bits frenetic.